Hi, this is Dan from j and Productions, and today we're working on a 300 farm all with a TA. Bought this tractor, and the TA did not work. Now, if your tractor, you shift the TA and it doesn't change, it's probably just out of adjustment and the TA's okay. Now, if you shift it and the tractor stops moving, obviously it's slipping. But a lot of times, these tractors are just out of adjustment. Now, we make a videotape that goes great into depth of how to repair it, take it apart, fix it, and put it all back together. But if you want to know just the secret of adjusting it properly, I'm going to go through that real quick with you right now. I'm working on a 300, the same as a Super MTA or 300 utility. This is a 300 row crop. The first thing you got to do is adjust the foot clutch and make sure that you have three quarters of an inch of travel in the foot clutch. So I adjusted that properly and made that adjustment. So I'm just going to put that adjustment of the clutch out of my way for right now. Now, on this tractor, it has the right pins. Very important that it has the right pins, not some just bolts stuck in there, because they need to be tight to make the right adjustments. So on this one here, the tractor, uh, you could shift the TA and it didn't make any difference. The tractor just stayed in high range. Once we adjusted it, the tractor works perfectly, so we were able to salvage the TA, which is really nice. But what was wrong was the adjustment, so we're going to go through it. This lever here, lever pushed forward, so it's a, up by the dash, pushed forward. This one, you turn the turnbuckle on this here until when you push this back, you push the pin in, the bottom one. i got to get it started here. There's, when you push it back, there's about an eighth of an inch left at the front, so it's a little bit loose in the saddle there. You want about an eighth of an inch left right there in that. So I'll push that in. Now I have about an eighth of an inch left when it's tight. Now the other clevis comes down. This is the one that was way off. We, we, you can see the threads. We almost added it in. Oh man, we almost put in there about a half inch of thread. So in this pin, again, make sure you're using the right pin so they're tight. Now we push it back. We put this in the clevis. Get it to line up here and get it in there. There, it's in. Now when this one's in, there's no room left at the clevis, just a little bit. So there's about an eighth of an inch left here on the end of the clevis when I have this tight. So I push it tight, there's about an eighth of an inch left. So now we got this in and this in, and there's about an eighth of an inch left here and an eighth of an inch left here. So there's just a little bit of play left in these, and that's the right adjustment. Put the spring back in now, and I got the spring back in now. Now the spring's in. Put your foot clutch back in. I got to work at that. Uh, to get the pin back in there and then when you put it back in there this is the right adjustment this is the crucial part right here this clevis and this clevis need to have an eighth of an inch left here an eighth of an inch left here with the spring off do that simple adjustment might save you a few years.